We proudly present to you, the Video Store Guys! Welcome to the show. My name is Michael Turpin. My name is Tyler Randall. And we are the Video, Video Store, Store Guys. guys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we did an episode on the Home Alone 1. We did mm -hmm. an episode on Home Alone 2. Home Alone 2. Now, we Boston, have New York. one episode on all the rest of the dumpster fire that came out of the Home Alone people, right? And we're going to go and we're going to quickly sort through them. We're going to have some Macaulay Culkin giving us some commentaries. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't I'm think quick. so. So just like we normally do, I am going to present to the store owner a Mr. Tyler Randall. I'm going to say, hey, what do you think about this movie? He's going to tell me what he thinks, and he's going to give me the yay or nay. I'm going to give you the lowdown on, you know, the plot here and there and some ratings and what you guys all know, what kind of ratings that I give. And we're going to roll. So, sir, first up, Home Alone 3. Alex can Pruitt. I, can I just, can I just yeah. do all of them at the same time? Absolutely. Let's okay. do it. Okay. You, you've just put, if you just um, pantomime and you're putting three of these boxes on my counter and four. I'm just going to, oh, that's right. Four. Yeah. Oh, not enough alcohol. I'm just going to push them all into the garbage. First of all, why are these in my store? Don't rent these. Don't let your kids watch these. Not only are they just, uh, it's almost as if they found the corpse of Home Alone hollowed the body out and then wore the husk of it around like an egger suit like in men in black and it was just like egger suit. sugar in water what's that sugar i've never seen sugar do that give me sugar sugar in water like <laughs> what are you doing so the third one okay uh, the only good thing about it is that it's like the, one of the first on-screen appearances of Scarlett Johansson. That include his butt operation? That's great. Other than that, the premise of this movie is ridiculous. There are international terrorists, question mark, that are coming after a computer chip that because of a bag mishap ends up in a remote control car of an old lady who gives it to the kid as a present. It, what? And how the heck did they track it down and then find it and then find how hard is it to kill an eight year old kid? I assume terrorists have guns. You know, most of them do. Even even the ones in the seventies blew stuff up. You know, I remember the Weather Underground. I digress. That's a different podcast. It's not the point. Point is, this movie back to front. It says it was written partially by John Hughes. I can guarantee that almost everything John Hughes wrote is gone because everything John Hughes ever written, it is there on the page. It, it, uh, there is almost no room for improv when it comes to John Hughes's writing. So therefore, I say, do not watch this movie. Home Alone 4. That's the uh, where they're trying to, it's like back in business. They're trying to bring back the McAllister family, right? They're, everybody got divorced. Kevin's dad goes to live with a hot new stepmom. Kevin gets dropped off at his dad's house. And Marv, who is now played by French Stewart, but wears the beanie like he is Harry for no reason whatsoever, is... Now trying to get revenge on Kevin. And Kevin's got a whole bunch of new gadgets in his dad's like technologically advanced house. There in a few minutes. No. First of all, French Stewart. 100% out. Don't watch it. He's this guy and it's made for, this is one of the the first ones made for T it's like made for TV, right? Made for ABC Family, ABC Spark, whatever they call it, Free, free Verse, whatever they call it now. They keep rebranding it and nobody watches it. <laughs> oh. So let me just throw it Stop in there. Stop me there. Stop Daniel me there. Stern, he, he, he was the guy who played Marv in the first yeah. two, right? Great he actor. He was approached for, for, for this and he called it, he, he declined it, calling it an insult and total insult. garbage. Did he not just nail it? <laughs> it was exactly right. And yes, he, just, he told them what it was going to be. He the told them from the beginning. Part. The best part about Home Alone 3 was Scarlett Johansson as the sister. That include his butt operation? I remember watching it like, wait a minute, I know who she is. I know that's, that's my girl, Scarlett That's Johansson. one of those things, like, you forget it's lost the time, because, like, yeah. 
I, I think we're like similar in age and you watch you're watching you go, hey, like you uh -huh. do the uh you do the Leonardo DiCaprio thing from uh from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you go, check it out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. So I gave Home Alone three. I gave mm -hmm. it five of ten. Rotten Tomatoes twenty nine percent. Meta score four point five, and IMDb four point five. And the only reason I gave it, I gave it five of ten, because it had some spots in it that were funny. Because listen, I got kids that don't realize that the movie is bad. They see Home Alone, they want to watch it. They they make me sit down and watch it. And after you watch Home Alone one and Home Alone two fifteen thousand times, you just want to change it up every once in a while. So. It was on my screen. I've watched it. I've watched it a few times. And there's parts in it that, you know, you giggle. Like when they're getting slammed in the crotch with stuff, you know, after a while, it just starts getting funny. Um, Home Alone 4, completely different, completely different set of tomatoes here, right? Missy Pyle is the best thing that happened in, in, in the movie. Yeah. One, you know, I feel bad for it because it definitely didn't help her career any. I gave Home Alone 4 a 3. Uh, Rotten wow. Tomatoes didn't even rate it. So high. <laughs> IMDb gave it a 2.5. Metascore was a 4.5. And I'm giving three. I'm giving three a one, and I'm giving four a one because I can't give it a zero because there was obviously effort. There were. I mean, obviously, there's going to be a little bit of. There's going to be a bright spot here, a bright spot there, a stunt that goes well. Okay, I'm giving it a one because I. I'm furious. I'm furious at the at the cash grab. You know what I mean. And I'll watch a Full yeah. Moon Entertainment. You know what I mean? Those really, really garbage. I gotta center myself because I'm so upset. So I'm Full upset. Moon Entertainment, if you don't know, is a is a really, really super duper low budget. Like they want to be like Bloomhouse, but they're not. And they make these movies. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. Like there's, there's like a weed. Oh my gosh, it's like a weed monster or something like that. And they've made like twenty of them. And it's just a bad puppet. And it's like Gary Busey. Gary Busey did the voice for the first one. And now there's 20 of them. And it's like, oh, it's like close to being a porno. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like it's like that's it's like it's like soft core, but it's got funny gags and like puppets and stuff. That's how bad like I'll I'll watch one of those every once in a while unironically and be like, wow, this is garbage. This ranks right there. This is yeah, right down garbage. in the in the gutter. It, it, so it's total toilet. Fire. Three and four for me, both ones. You have yeah. kids. You have kids. I don't. I uh. let see. Let, let's see what. Let, let's see what their original Macaulay Culkin. Let's see what he says about it. What, what do you say, Macaulay? We have him on the line. Oh no, he, we got it. Oh, yep, that sounds. <laughs> <good>. <laughs> yep, he nailed it. He absolutely nailed it. Yep, yep, Macaulay, you're right. All right, Home Alone Five. Okay, Home Alone Five is what? What's the what's the moniker on this one? All right. Finn Baxter sets up booby traps to catch the ghost of his of his new home's former occupant, only to discover he must protect the house and his sister from three thieves. Peter Hewitt, director, Christian Martin, Eddie Steeples. So he's the guy who played he's the black guy who played um my name is Earl. Um, yeah, yep. crab man. Oh yeah, he's hilarious. Great. Um, he's a good actor. Malcolm McDowell and uh, Edward Asner. Um, so it had some names that's, in it. That's the whole budget right there was Ed Asner and Malcolm McDowell. Mm -hmm. That was the one third of the entire budget of the movie, I guarantee. Eddie Steeples um, was hilarious in it. That's why I gave it a three a three out of ten. Rotten Tomatoes, once again, didn't even rate it. Um, Metascore was a 3.8. IMDB was a 4.1. And ironically, it was the lowest I've ever seen out of people that voted on IMDb, only 7.8 thousand people voted. <laughs> I think I would give it a two just based on the actors that were in it. Plus the uh, what's the lady's name? Uh, she she was good. Um, I like her. She the blue eyed the blue eyed uh, Italian uh, New York lady. George Jordanelle Ferdinand. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, she uh, her I love her attitude. Oh, yeah. And uh, the the fact that she was in one of these Home Alone movies means that she must have been desperate for the cash at the time. So you know. Whatever. So I'll give it a two based on that. But I wish this was a hard one because it's like hard to find. And the only trailers are like this weekend on ABC Spark. We got a new b bad guys. We got a new hero. Come and watch the new Home Alone movie. And it's like, that's it. That was the only thing. I got a 20 second stinger. It was not good. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I'll give it a two. Don't let your kids watch it because then they're going to expect. It, you can, it's so far, so far fallen. So far fallen. Hard. I will say. 
we get to the next one, I do have good things to say. All right. Let's roll right into it. Home Alone 6. Home Sweet Home Alone. Home a Sweet Home Alone. tried to steal back a valuable heirloom from a troublesome kid. Uh, Dan Mazur was directed. Ellie Kemper. She's everyone's favorite. Uh, Aaron from The Office. Rob Delaney. And Keenan Thompson, this one came out in 2021. Mike. It's some unbreakable this... Kimmy Schmidt. Come on. How are you going to do The Office? Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> I, 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 I'm i personally, I'm a fan. I, I think. I, I like her. Very, very talented. She's, you know, she's even one of us, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, the stuff going on in Hollywood. She's one of us. So. Really? Did she not really know is. That. She's been, she's been, she's caught a lot of flack for it. So the only, um, you know. She is hilarious. So maybe that's, I mean, there's some kindred spirit stuff there. Absolutely, man. Um, I gave it once again a 2.10. Rotten Tomatoes <sighs> didn't score it. Meta score was a 3.5. IMDb was a 3.6. I was gonna, I was teetering three or I was in between three or four. Um, default probably three, but that's because the stunt. I mean, the, the good things about this are I don't, I don't remember her name. I keep calling her Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> Ellie, Kemper. Her, Ellie Kemper. Her her performance is great. Um, the guy that played the dad, eh, it's almost like they wanted John Hamm, so they cast a John Hamm type, but they couldn't afford him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, totally. Like clearly, that was the tone they were trying to strike. Is like now John Hamm is like trying to do like Fletch movies, which is like, hey, do your own thing. Don't screw Fletch up for me. Mm -hmm. We need it. We should do all three Fletch movies at one time because John Hamm's movie counts as a Fletch movie. That's not the point. Anyway, so uh, the good things for me is the production value was there. I mean. This is this has more money put into it than the last three put together. Okay, um, the stunts were really good. The kid was insufferable. The plot is where we start losing points because it's just regular people who are gonna like lose their house, right? They just need to get this thing out of a house. It should be cut and dry. Just just a kid going, "What are you doing here?" And he going, "Listen, I just need to get this thing, or I'm gonna lose my house." Like, uh, and it would take no time for this to like if anybody communicated to each other, it would the movie would be over. Pete Holmes uh, criminally under is used in this movie. Like he has some really funny lines. Like when he <laughs> was just like, you didn't see if my son was on. He goes, we didn't take a census. Like he's, he's funny. His timing is there, but the plot ruins it for me. Like the fact that they put a home alone tag on this, they could have called it something else and it would have been just as good, I think. But yeah, I think it, best one of the, of the sequels, uh, if they were going to do a home alone three, this one would have got, I think, this one would have got Macaulay back. This one would have got uh, uh, Daniel Stern back if they were willing to put the money into it, not release it directly to TV. Well, and this one, it brought back Buzz. That's right. They brought back Buzz. Mm. And uh, what was it? What was the other thing? If you look in the front yard, it says McAllister Home Security, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm going to come and set a bunch of traps at your house. Don't worry. I did it a couple of times. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I of of all of these uh, dumpsters, uh, all these absolute turds that came out, this turd is the most polished of all the turds. Oh, for sure, Paul. And they they even have the mom like literally recite some of Catherine O'Hara's lines when she's from and in, in the airport. I'm like, yo, make it your own. It, it mm -hmm. obviously, you know. Mm, I get so upset. I just need to keep okay. drinking. I just need to keep drinking. But no, it's stealing lines is stupid. It doesn't make sense. It's absolute BS, man. It, it really is. Whenever you're jumping into these, just remember you're jumping into the turd pool face first. So make sure that you prepare accordingly. I will say one thing, though. Guys, make sure if you want to see more content like this, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell just in case because the YouTube algorithm is what it is. So just make sure, let us know in the comments below what you think. If we missed something, if you want to add something, we do read the comments. Please let us know. Keep it coming. We love you. We're here for you. <laughs> and don't watch these movies. We proudly present to you.